morning, friends, and thank you for joining us for story time. It is now our summer reading program, and it is Reading Colors Your World, so make sure to stop in at the library or give us a call and email if you want to sign up for our reading program. It's also on our website if you'd like. Today, we're going to read about some colors and some bears. Should we warm up our hands for our welcome song? And we're going to go... Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. So our first book today is called Bear Sees Colors. This is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. We have our bear and his little mouse friend. Mouse and bear are walking. They are chitter chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees blue. Blue flowers by the trail. Blue berries, blue pail. Blue, blue, everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? Along the trail hops hare. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hare points up ahead, and the bear sees red. Red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries. Red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, Badger bellows, and the bear sees yellow. Drippy, sticky, oh so yummy, honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? Gophers out with mole, they are on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream, and the bear sees green. Green mint for making tea. Green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? Looks like they're having a lot of fun, doesn't it? Raven, Owl, and Wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round, and the friends see brown. Chocolate cake, brown and sweet. Brown cookies, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair. Friendly, fluffy, brown. Bear! Colors, colors. Everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? Should we take a minute to look at these pictures? Can you spot all the colors that bear saw? We have blue fish and red berries. There's yellow galoshes, green mugs, so many colors. The end. Such a good one. Okay, so we're going to sing a colors song now. So let's practice the motions real quick. First, you have your fish, so let's put your thumbs up, hands together. These are your little fins. You're going to swim. Your fish is going to swim. And then we're also going to do bubble and pop. So we're going to go bubble, 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 pop. Very good. Okay, we're going to start with one little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little blue fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop! Two little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 
Very good. What color should we do next? Hmm. What about pink? Three little pink fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little pink fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Very good. What about yellow fish? Four little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. We're up to five fish. What should our last color be? What about purple? Purple fish? Five little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little purple fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> Very good job. Thank you, friends. Before we go, I have one last poem for us from a book called Poems Aloud. This one is called The Bear. Some poems sound best when read slowly, it says. Take your time, pause, and breathe to add emphasis. <gasps> okay, we're going to try that with this poem. This lumbering bear is old. This lumbling, lumbering, bumbling bear has shuffled over rugged, imaged mountains urged his bulk slow and strong, slow as geography, strong as tree growth, through the forests of his mind. This hulking brown bear, furred in shag pile, crooked in dusty winter coats, stays to the tune of the camera flash. Eyebrows worn smooth, his back is bald from sitting. This ungainly bear takes two dreamy steps from a cage bathed in decades of eyebrow fur. He swaddles out to the first deep earth beneath his paws, the first thick wind through his thick fur all his season's desires of water and wood and grass and stone roll out the color of his imaginings. This heavy bear, this happy bear, this home bear, sighs out to freedom. He's just looking at the sky. <laughs> I really like this book of poems because each poem or set of poems, you, you're given a prompt for how to read the poems. It's very neat. Okay, well, I think it's time for our goodbye song. Let's warm up those hands. And just like the beginning, we go, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Bye friends. <laughs>